please invite your friends and let me do some correction here all right everything everything is fine okay everything is fine everything is good to go please don't forget to download the previous video and share it in everywhere in Zakarnak page and all the Muslim pages and you will see why Islam is lovable and why Islam cannot be from God you know those people they they can only fool the ignorant who do not know anything about this religion but for us Islam is very lovable is a joke and I will show you how from the topic Zakir Naik he mentioned I'm not going to play his video because those people they uh, play the game of copyright and we will not give them execute but you can watch the video you can search for the title here and you will find it in YouTube <coughs> uh, so Muhammad was not sent only to the Arab he was sent to all mankind I find this is very lovable you know a person who cannot speak his own language correctly he don't know even how to read his own language he do not even know how to read his name how he can be ambassador for all mankind You might say to me, well, this is a very, uh, uh, not, like your logic is not correct. What you do not need to speak, you know, there's no ambassador in the world. He speaks the language of the nation he's going to. Well, how he's going to communicate with them? Have you ever heard of somebody? He was sent uh, to a nation. You have to find a, a common language. You have to find a common language. If I send you, if I send a messenger to a king, and then this king, he don't speak my language and my messenger don't speak the language. So how we can communicate? So Muhammad is a person, supposedly, he was sent for all mankind. And to do what? To deliver something very important, a message from God. But the message of God cannot be delivered unless people who I'm speaking to, they understand what I'm saying. So how is that can make he come to the conclusion that Muhammad was sent to all mankind. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following, that Zakir Naik is exposing a contradiction in the Quran. And yes, he said that Muhammad was sent a messenger to all mankind, but the Quran says the opposite. The Quran says we never send any messenger. This is the Quran, not me. We never send a messenger. Save with the language of his folk. And look what this verse did to all the lies of the Muhammad and when they speak about Muhammad sent to mankind. The verse here contained two things against their claim. And I find it very funny that we have the Quran going against their claim. This is not our logic. You see, I'm not using my logic to prove the Quran wrong. I'm using the Quran logic. So the Quran says, Allah, he never sent a messenger unless he speak the language of his folk. So there's two conditions. Number one, he speak the language. Number two, he was to be from the folk. You have to be from the people. He's not a foreigner. So the Quran made a condition that Allah, he never, ever send a messenger. Never. As you see, we never sent. And this is a verse revealed after Muhammad was sent. Remember, Muhammad already is a messenger, not before. And this is a message was delivered to Muhammad. So if Muhammad was sent for all mankind, how the Quran says, that Allah will never send the messenger except speaking the tongue of the people and he is from the people. Is Zakir Naik an Arab? No. Do even he speak Arabic? No. Do people of his country know Arabic? No. How much, how many Muslims they speak Arabic? The Muslim they will say to you maybe five, ten percent. So how Muhammad can be a messenger to those folk? And the Quran give us the reason. Allah, he do that in order for what? That he make 
between two brackets, the message is clear for them. So the Quran making it clear that if it's not in their language, they will not understand the message. And please don't ask me questions out of the topic now. Be mature. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why Allah will not send a messenger except to speak in the tongue and he is from the people? Because if you don't do that, the message will not be delivered and is not going to be clear, which means there will be confusion. Who said that? The Quran. So how Zakarnaik, he claimed that Muhammad, he was sent to all mankind. I am sure he will quote for you some verses from the Quran. But that will be even showing contradiction. The Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. So Zakir Naik is showing us contradiction in the Quran. Because we have a verse says that Muhammad was sent only to his folk, which is the Arab. And not only that, actually, the Quran says clearly that Allah he sent Muhammad to Mecca and what is around it only. Chapter 6, verse number 92. It says, And this is a book which we have sent down, bringing blessing and confirming revelation. By the way, this is a false uh, translation. In Arabic it says, so he believe or he you know he accept and he believe in what is between his hands so Quran again confirmed that the revelation between our hands is accurate and this is will make the Muslims covered by shame when they lie and they say that Islam say the Bible is corrupted when the Quran in front of us says he accept and he believe in what is between his hands from the revelation came before him as you see, it says he's confirming, confirming, you know. But in Arabic, actually, it says musaddiq, which means believe. This is why the Muslim, they call Abu Bakr al-Saddiq. What, what it does mean, saddiq? That means he believed. So here we see that Allah, he is saying, we send this book down, bringing blessing and confirming the revelation, which is the Bible, the Torah. And where? To warn about the mother of the cities, which is Mecca, and what is around it. Do you see it? That's it. Muhammad, not only he was sent to a specific group, Muhammad only sent to a specific location, which is Mecca, and what is around it? And Mecca is a small, I mean, at that time, maybe it's like maybe 2,000 people. So, if the Quran is made by God, and the Quran itself says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, then you will find a lot of contradiction. That's wonderful. Allah, he put, if he exists, he put the conditions. Can Allah stand for his conditions? Imagine you are the one uh, uh, who make a condition for mankind, and you say to them, you know what? Uh, this is the condition. If you find contradiction, this is not from God. Chapter 4, verse number 82. Will they not bounder on the Quran? And uh, Muhammad was speaking to the Arab in his time, by the way. And the Muslim, they say the Arab, they were amazed by the Quran. But as you see, they are not amazed. They are laughing at it. Because if they are amazed, they will not. Be, this verse should not be exist. If it had been from other than Allah, then they would have found their in contradictions. So how Muhammad is sent to all mankind? And how Muhammad sent only to Mecca, and how Muhammad and all the messenger according to Islam send only to their people who speak the language and the tongue. 
in order to make it clear for them. So the Quran confirmed that if Allah, he sent the messenger, don't speak the tongue, the message will never be clear. So how is Zakir Naik, he is going against his Quran saying that the Quran is clear for him. You know what I'm saying? If, if Zuzu, he claimed that he understand the Quran very well, that's mean the Quran told a lie. Are we listening? If somebody from Pakistan, from India, from Bangladesh, from whatever, Indonesia, Ustad, those, you know, they call themselves Ustad, you know, just fake, making money from those poor people. If they claim that they understand the Quran, that's mean the Quran is a lie. Because the Quran made it clear that no one, Allah will send them a message except in his tongue. Why? Because if you don't, it's not going to be clear for them. And here we find that this verse alone is proving Islam to be fraud again. Why? Because we find that the Quran, even in Arabic, is so confusing. Even to the Arab. You will find that every single verse in the Quran, the Muslim agree about not to agree what it does mean. So how the Arab who speak full language Arabic, they could not understand what the Quran is saying. And Zuzu from India or Pakistan or Bangladesh, he can understand the Quran very well. Isn't it, this is funny and this is a clear contradiction of the Quran? Are you with me? I hope people who they are trying to learn how to, to, to defeat Islam, we don't want you to debate Islam. I don't want, I don't want people who debate. I want people to demolish. Islam is so easy to conquer. Islam is so, it's the most stupid cult ever. Islam will flourish like weed only if there is no farmer in the garden. You know what I mean, right? When there's no farmer, the weed grow all over. But doesn't mean the weed are healthy. Doesn't mean that the garden is living good. Weed will go everywhere. And Islam is just a stupid weed. And Islam only flourish between the stupid people. This is why the Muslim, they will see they are lining up to debate somebody who have a blue eyes. But they will never debate an Arab. Ahmad did that. He was lining up all his life to debate a, a Christian ministry or ministers. But when he debated Sharush, who's an Arab, the dad did not even show up for the second debate. He ran away. He debated him once and they scheduled a second debate and debate and the debate never happened. Sharush was waiting in the stage and the dad never show up. And there's like 700, 800 people waiting for the debate to happen and the dad never show up. Uh, I have a Muslim here saying, this is a Muslim, Free Abdul Rahman saying, uh, the Bible also uh, hard to understand. You prove nothing, my friend, but look what you just said. I'm going to use your words. Guys, did he just say also? Did Abdul Rahman said also or this is a christian prince fabricating what he said he said also right so he agreed the quran nobody can understand it so the quran is a lie i will answer you about the second part about the bible but you just admitted that nobody understand the quran so how the quran sent in arabic in order to make it clear and yet nobody understand the quran even in the arabic language the second you say also, that's mean you agree with me. Thank you very much. You left Islam. Now let's go to the Bible. If you could not understand the Bible because you are not reading the Bible, you are reading the Quran. And you are using your logic. Like we say, the Muslim, they will say, when I debate you about the Trinity, okay, what is the problem with Trinity? How God can be one and three in the same time? Like he's God, you idiot. If God cannot be one and three in the same time, he can't be God. God can be as he wished. That's why we call him God. Do you tell him what to do? 
Do you have a schedule for God? What you can do, what you cannot do? So you Muslims, you are a person who have a logic and you go against your logic. In one hand, you say that Allah is almighty. In the other hand, you say Allah can't have a son. So how he is Allah almighty, but he cannot. The second you say that he cannot, and not only do, even the Quran says so. How Allah can have a son without having a girlfriend, the Quran say. Well, my God, he can have a son without girlfriend. <laughs> So if you could not understand the Bible because you are following an idiot, his name is Muhammad. You are not listening. But I'm so glad that you admit that the Quran is a joke. And then Allah have a failure. Look at this. Allah, he said, we have only 400 people, by the way. I don't know why you guys are not inviting. Thank you very much for not inviting, you know. Look like maybe you are asking me to take some few days off. I can. You know, I would love to. So I will give you a chance to invite your friends. Otherwise, we will finish the broadcast. So when the Quran says we send the Quran in Arabic, in other verse, and this Arabic is a clear Arabic. And then we find that all the Arab, they could not understand the Quran. And this is why the Muslim, they have tons and thousands of interpretation for the Quran and they are different from each other. Chapter 12, verse number two. Why we send the Quran in Arabic? In order that you may understand. Look at this idiot. How somebody from Pakistan, if Muhammad was sent to all mankind, as Zakir Naik said, he will understand. <laughs> are you with me? People, are you listening? Muhammad sent to all mankind. Okay. Why we send the Quran in Arabic? Allah said, not me. In order to understand. Okay, but they don't speak Arabic. And not only that, even the Arab who speak Arabic, they cannot understand the Quran because it says it's a silly, stupid book. Harut and Marut, Allah sent them in the Babylon Tower to open a school of Hori Buddha to, to, teach, to teach magic, to make divorce. I mean, is that a book even? The Mickey Mouse make more sense. So if we read here, the Quran saying in chapter 12, chapter 12, this is not Christian prince because the Muslim, they say to you, Christian prince is lying to you. The Quran never say that. The Quran in front of you. And this is your Muslim web website. Verily we have sent it down as Arabic. Okay, why we send it down in Arabic? In order you may understand. And I find it very funny. It says you may. Guys, do you see the word you may? People, do you see the word you may? What do you mean you may? If you say you may understand, that's mean Allah, he is not capable of making things clear. It's a good luck. If we ask the Muslims, who is the one who can, the best in Arabic in the world, they will say Allah. Okay, wonderful. So Allah, he wrote a book in, 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 in language. He is the best on it. Yet, he could not explain himself in his book. If you say no, he explained, that's mean you are against the Quran because the Quran says that you may understand. You may. <laughs> so look what happened now. Allah never sent a messenger except in the tongue of the people. Why? So he will make it clear for them. Okay, wonderful. That's great. And Allah sent him only to Ummul Qura, Qura, which is Mecca and what around it. Okay, wonderful. Great. And Allah sent him, sent the book in Arabic so they can understand. So may, they may understand. Okay, wonderful. So how Muhammad become a messenger to Pakistan or Indonesia? 
And remember those Abdul, they keep saying to us, if this book made by other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction, but all of this is a chain of contradictions, one after one after one. Do we have any Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge, so he can call me life on air. You see, I'm not like Zakir Naik. This guy is a, is a he claimed that he is a scholar. He can debate, etc. But he's a joker. Those people they only accept to debate those who do not know Islam. So they can only attack a Christianity. As simple as that. This is the whole game. The second they notice that you know Islam very well, they flee. My Skype is open. If there is any Muslim who would like to join us live on air, for free. Do we have any Muslim? So when the Muhammadan they say, ask Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik have time to answer about what? About, is it okay to have halal fun? But the second you ask serious question, they bring him people who do not know anything about Islam. They put him in the stage. They know the question and advance before even they put them in the stage. What about Zakir Naik? He accepts phone calls from everybody and I will call him immediately. What do you think? He will dare to do it? Egg made you, he said. Ha ha ha, stupid question. Jesus speak English. Well, my friend, even your book says that the disciple of Jesus, by the order of Jesus, they were able to speak all languages of the world. So, my Lord, and not only that, your Quran says that Jesus, he speak all languages. Why? Because the Quran chose the Greek name of the Bible, Injil. So, I'm asking you now, do Allah speak Greek? If yes, let me know. And as we showed you, Allah, he said that we never send a messenger except in the tongue of his people. So obviously, according to the Quran, Jesus was from, from Athena, maybe, or maybe from Thessaloniki. And maybe when Jesus, he met with Peter and the rest of the disciples, they were fishing for calamari. Or you know what? Maybe Jesus was from Sparta. So when you speak about speaking languages, you need to ask yourself how in the world that the Quran chose the Latin and the Greek name of the Bible in Jeel. If the followers of Jesus are Israeli, why the book of Jesus is in a Greek according to the Quran? So Muslims, when they try to answer, they squeeze themselves and they got nothing. Literally nothing. They don't have God. They don't have religion. They don't have a prophet. And the proof in the front of you. And look, by the way, Allah is so proud about himself that he can tell you the best of the stories. Have you ever heard of such a God? Hey Muhammad, What the heck is that? Especially if you read in Arabic, you will die laughing. We tell you the best of the stories, Muhammad. This is what God do? So Allah is telling Muhammad the best of the stories, so you have stories, they are not the best? What the stories? Are they stories or they are real? You know, when you say story, is that like you wrote a story? You fabricate a story, a fiction story? We are the best who tell stories. Okay, what the story? Oh, there's Gog and Magog, and there's Alexander the Great, he found where the sun set. Right? 
this uh, this Abdul he says, you don't have the guts to face Muslims in public. Well, if you cannot face me in the internet, what will happen to you if I come to you in public? You will have a diarrhea. If internet and you don't dare to call me, all of you. So what will happen to you if you come to, to you in public? And what what you can do in public, we cannot do here. I'm sitting now wearing my shirt, my short, laughing at your religion, making Muslims leave Islam, and you can do nothing about it. Why I want to go anywhere? I will not even spend one penny driving my car. Right now I'm speaking, there is people in Indonesia listening to me. Actually, most of my admins from Indonesia. So who is the coward? And as long as you talk about public, why your prophet Muhammad did not show himself in public when he was wanted? Did he hide in the cave like a rat? Is it true that your prophet, he went to Ethiopia and he bowed down to a Christian king asking for asylum? Is it true that your prophet, he ran even to Yathrib, which is a city of the Jews, asking them to be a refugee? Who is the one who hide? It's your prophet. And as long as you are talking about the one who hide, the most unknown God is Allah. He never spoke to Muhammad. He never showed his face. He never even farted. Maybe Allah, he is using the internet too. Right? Free Abdurrahman, he says, in the Bible it says that if a brother, his wife, she, uh, if a man, his, uh, uh, he died, the brother, he should marry his wife. What if I show you the same in your stupid religion? You see, the Muslims are potatoes. They practice what the Jew practice. They do not know what they have in their religion. Your prophet was copying the Jews. I challenge you to show me that in Islam, it's forbidden for a man to marry his wife or brother after he die. This is how stupid you are. Not only that, let me show you that in the Quran it says you can have sex with your daughter. Are you, are you ready? Here we go. وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَصَبًا وَصَيْرًا In the Bible it says the man he marry his brother wife after he dies so he can take care of the children so they will not be orphans. So they can protect the family. This is not about sex. But here it's about sex. It says you can have sex with the mother and her and your daughter from her as long as she is not your wife. If you don't believe me, open the interpretation of Al-Qurtubi immediately. Chapter 25, verse number 54. Can you say I'm lying? If you say so, call me right now and expose me in front of everybody. Is that fair, people? If this verse interpretation, according to Muslims, doesn't say that you can sleep with the mother and your daughter from that mother, I will apologize in front of everybody. Who dare to challenge me? Life on air. And now what the Muslim they do? They put their tails between their legs and they change the topic. And now Mr. Ibrahim, free Abdul Rahman, he will change the topic. He will talk about something else. He don't want to talk about this topic no more. Abdul Rahman, are you brave enough to call so I can read for you? Here we go. He changed the topic. You, uh, you are get your interpretation for the Bible. He will not read. What interpretation, you idiot? You ask me the question, I give you the answer. It is you Muslims who need interpretation for the Quran. Who is a brave Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to call. May they, may they. As you see, Zuzu Zakir Naik is, a, is, a, is so brave. He claimed that he is celebrity and he is wearing expensive clothes. I wonder where the money is coming from, my friend. I mean, what do you do for a living? What it does? I never wear a, a, a suit. Honest to God, I never wear a suit. You know, last last uh, last month I went to to meet with the uh, uh, with a bunch of uh, publishers, and I should wear prof professional clothes. You know, like you have to. You are the author. You know, I could not. I will never wear a suit. So why a Muslim sheikh wearing a, wearing a suit, wearing a tie? He is wearing the clothes of the kuffar. And his prophet, he says, the one who dressed like them, talk like them, eat like them, he is one of them.
Why Zakir Naik became a moderate sheikh? Is that the teaching of his prophet? How much it costs this watch in your hand? Is that a Rolex? <laughs> Forgiving is, is insulting me, saying, calling me bastard. My friend, what if I show you that your prophet, he was born four years after his father's death? Let us talk about bastard, as long as you are trying to insult me. I will not insult you, you know, because you never know. Your mother, she might convert to Christianity and she become my wife. It might happen. I'm still single. And then you will call me daddy. But look at you. You said you ba you are a bastard as a liar. Coward, CP, shame on you. But you could not prove me to be a liar. Why you don't call me, prove me a liar? But let me ask you now. Is it true that your prophet, he have a father who die four years before his birth date? I mean, have you ever heard of somebody his father died four years ago and he is born four years after. Guess what? I think the mother of Muhammad, she put the sperm of her husband in the freezer at that time. Yes, yes, brother, there was a freezer at that time, especially Muhammad, he used to live in Alaska. So you are angry, but you cannot prove me liar. You call me names, no problem. I'm not going to call you names. You might be, you know, I used to be like, a, you know, in early age, I used to be a very bad boy. So I might not know. You might be my son. I don't know. You, do you know the Muslim who, who go to his father? He keeps saying, I want to marry this girl. I want to marry this girl. And then his father, he says, no, 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 you cannot marry her. And then the guy, he said to him, how come I cannot marry this girl? He said, she's, she's your sister. When I was in your age, I was going around. So he keep bringing women to marry them. And the father, he says to him, you cannot marry this girl, you cannot marry this girl, you cannot marry this girl, you cannot marry that girl. But the whole town and the kid, he could not find a girl to marry because all of them, they turned to be his sisters. And then the mother, she came to the son in, her, in his bedroom. She said, son, what's the problem? Why are you growing your beard? You don't go out. He said, mom, if I tell you the truth, you will get hurt. She said, tell me the truth. She said, my father, each time I ask him to marry a girl, he said to me, you cannot marry her. She is your sister. How I can live? The mother, she said, son, go and marry whoever you wish. Who told you that he is your father? So forgiven Rohan, I bet you, you are the same as Muhammad. You do not know who is your father. The only way to know is to ask your mom. Do we have any brave Muslim who is not here to come in to insult and call names? Remember carefully, you try to insult my mother, I will whip the floor with your face. I did read it wrong. Okay, maybe I will apologize. I said, I, he did not say bastard. Oh, busted, sorry, busted, busted. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, okay. I got it wrong. You are right. I wasn't looking. Yeah, the, the chat was, I took the screenshot. I put it there. I wasn't looking. Yeah, busted. Okay. I apologize. <laughs> But I mean, how you can get me busted? But you go, you call me and bust me. I mean, those people, they call me liar. They got me busted, but they don't dare to call me. Do we have any brave Muslim? You know, I see somebody is uh, trying to answer a Muslim about one plus one plus one. Who is the word in the world who told you that the Christian believe in one plus one plus one plus one? Where do you get this from? And the Christian who tried to answer this by using the same logic, where do you get this answer from? Hey, Christian, do we Christian believe in one plus one plus one? Do we have such a thing in our belief? We don't. Which one is the plus who? Is that the mathematics? We are talking about God. So don't be silly like the Mohammedan. We don't have one plus one plus one. We don't. We don't have one X one X one. We don't. You as a human being, you have a flesh. You have a soul. So we have a soul. Are you one plus one? Are you two? Isn't it your soul is you, and your body is you, and your mind is you? So which one is plus one plus one? 
So when somebody, he is a Christian, he tried to answer, he's using the stupid logic of the, the Muslims, he got in the trap. For we don't believe in such a thing. This is the logic of those who have broken brain. If a human being, he is multi-person, not one person. He is multi-person, every single human being. When according to the Quran, Allah created Adam, what he did? He created mud. So now we have mud. We have a person of mud. And then he breathed into him. What happened to the mud? Now this mud became a living being. Why? Because he have a soul. So now what we have, we have the mud and we have the soul, but still one person. If a human being can be two and one in the same time, how about God? If it's possible for a human being, is it impossible for God? Uh, do we have any brave Muslim here to do, do you know he dare to call us? May they, may they, may they. Do we have any Muslim dare to call us? Somebody saying that Rohan he don't have balls. My friend, don't talk about his balls. He do have balls, but who said that balls mean he have a brain? Have you ever heard of a cow, a male cow don't have balls? Did you see how big the balls of the donkey? But still he have no brain. So Rohan, he have balls. He do. But donkeys do too. Do we have any Muslim? Human can be too? Okay, hold on. Free Abdul Rahman saying, can a human be too? What if I show you from the Quran that a human is a tree? Not two. Do you dare? Who dare to call me and I will show you from the Quran that a human being is one and three in the same time? Who accept the challenge? Look at them. You guys, you say they have, they have no balls. They don't have a brain. The reason they don't dare to call, not because they don't have balls. They have balls. They have meta balls. They have all kinds of balls, but they have zero brain. I went in eBay and I look at the Muslim brain. I found it's the most expensive one. Christian brain is not, you can buy it even for $10. A Jewish brain is like four, five, $7. A Muslim brain is 10 million, 20 million. I said, why? They said they never, they've never been used. Brand new. What are you talking about? They never use their brain. You tell me how in the world anyone, he have a brain and he use it, he will believe that there's a God will make his penis endless. Where in heaven? Imagine you have your neighbor, you are living now in peace. And now you are in heaven and your penis going around the, the bushes to the garden of the neighbors, to the bedroom of the neighbors. You have no idea what your penis keep going. And where's your wife is next to you? And the wife, she say, honey, when are you going to have sex? He said, I don't know. I don't know where's my penis now. Can you order him to make a U-turn? So if those people have a brain, they will not believe in this religion. If we can't call it a religion. Do we have any brave Abdul? Look at this guy. He is putting a finger. The only religion who gave finger to their God is the Muslims. I wonder like when he took the picture, like, okay, what, 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 what is in the roof? Like, what is exactly, what is that? Silly, stupid religion, copy paste, they don't know what they are doing. They will say to you, we are saying that Allah is one. Like, do you need to use a finger to say Allah is one? And why this finger? Isn't it the same one you put in your nose? There's one booger in your nose. And you know, when the Muslim, they say we, we worship one, one God, well, Shaitan, according to Islam, Iblis is one Iblis. One, there's one Iblis. So are you saying that worshiping one is the correct way? There's only one Iblis, look, only one. 
according to Muslim Iblis. And by the way, Muslims, where the word Iblis coming from? Go check it out in the internet and you will see how your God is funny. How the word Iblis is in the Quran. The funny this Quran claim that this is a book coming from Allah. Go check where the word Iblis coming from. What is the source of it? You will die laughing. And then, if there is one person you worship, if you worship one person, that means you are a monotheist. Here we go, Iblis. When they ask the companions about how Shaitan he have a children's, because the Quran says, which means Shaitan he have a children's. So they ask Ibn Abbas and they ask other scholars, oh, and the cousin of Muhammad, the, you know, they said, uh, how. Uh, how how should how iblis he have a children? Do we have a wife? I mean, this Quran is really silly. Suppose there's only a shaitan, one iblis. This is what the Quran is saying. Allah, He kicked only one person from the jinn. His name is Iblis. Only one, one. He sent him down to earth. So, how this guy Iblis he got a children's. The Muslim, they come with a solution. They say Allah, he created for Iblis a penis in his right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. And then Allah, he made Iblis shake his legs and he enter this into that and he do nikah, he if himself. And then at the end of every day, he lay down 70 eggs. It turned to be that shaitan is a chicken. He Muslims, how shaitan got the children's? Any Muslim? Who want to explain to us how shaitan got the children's? If you try to answer it, in two seconds you will see how laughable this religion is. You open the interpretation, you will find that shaitan, he have a penis and he have a vagina and he if himself. By the way, that means shaitan is God, according to Muslims, because he is self-sufficient. He do not need a female. He is better than Allah. Allah in the Quran says, how, I can, can, how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? So Allah is saying that he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Look at shaitan. Shaitan, he do not need a girlfriend. He if himself. Allah, he cannot do that. I feel sorry for Allah. Chapter 6, verse 101. I like it, by the way. 101, look at this. Even the number is perfect. The originator of the heaven and the earth, how can he have a child when he don't have a concert, a girlfriend? Look at this. You see, the Muslim, they say, if this is a book made by other than Allah, according to the Quran, you will find contradiction. But this is the contradiction. How Mary, who her God, made her have a son, yet she don't have a boyfriend. Look at this Abdul. He is saying, I claim so much of the Eve Hadith. Another problem in Islam. Muslim, when they say to you, we have a problem, we have the Eve Hadith, they are saying to you, Islam is not trustworthy. They are saying to you that we Muslims, we have tons of stories fabricated, and we Muslims, we publish it, we print it, we teach it in school. Until a Christian prince read it. The second Christian prince, he read it. We say it is da'if. What da'if mean weak? You, my friend, thank you very much for confirming that Islam is da'if. Islam is weak. And you are weak too. That's why you don't dare to call me. And your sheikh is weak. And not only that, your prophet is weak. And I can show you the hadith that he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind in Ifin. And then I invoke my God and he sent me a dish of al kufait I ate it and I get the power of 40 men in Ifin. You Muslim claim power you don't have. Do you have the power of 40 men in Ifin? If you say yes, prove it. How? How Muhammad, he proved that he have the power of 40 men in Ifin. Did they have a championship in Mecca? They gathered the men and they start Ifin women in public. How he was able to count his power to 40 men. And what kind of religion they are proud about the penis of their prophet.
Do you see why we see Islam lovable and Islam is a stupid religion? Stupid religion. Is a police an angel? No, according to Muslims, he is a genie. You see, Muslims, they stole stories from the Bible, but Muhammad is an idiot. He missed, uh, as usual, he, 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 you know, he, he messed it up. So according to the Quran, Shaitan is a genie. Some Christian, they think, because they are, because of their ignorant, ignorance. They think that when the Muslim, they say genie, they mean spirit or demon. Genie is not a demon. Genie is not a demon. Genie is a creature. He can be invisible and he can show himself if he want. He is so small to the point he piss in your nose. Sorry, he, he piss in your nose, yeah? And he sleep in your mouth. Uh, sometimes sleep in your nose, sleep in your ears, piss in your ears. Depend on the story of Muhammad. Actually, here we have in the, in, the, in, the, in the intro, if you watch it, you will see that shaitan, he sleep in your nose and he piss in your ears. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? Do you see how brave this religion is? And when one of them, he tried to refute me, he says, Christian Prince, it doesn't say that, CP. First of all, this hadith reported by Shish Kebab. Shish Kebab, he said to Hummus. Hummus, he said to Kaka. Kaka, he said to Dudu. Dudu said to Umar. Abdullah, Ibn Umar, everybody knows that he is a barbecue liar. So this hadith is fabricated. Like, what the heck? I mean, after 1400 years, you discover now a guy you never met that he is a liar? And if he's a liar, why you write what he say? <laughs> why do only activate the comment for subscribers so you can subscribe? You don't like it, leave. Here we go. Let me block you. Hmm, take care. Why you only activate the comment for subscribers? This is not comment. This is here. Chat. Nobody is forcing you. Don't get married, okay? Your wife, she will leave you second day. I mean, what a question. Christian Prince, why you activate only subscribers in the chat? And so what you will lose? Does it cost you money? And subscribe after you finish chatting. Lord have mercy. Here we go. I blocked you. So now you will not suffer. And don't forget to answer to cry, please. I don't want such a follower. Where is the source of endless penis? My friend, I have to track the penis now. Are you serious? Go watch the video of the, the, the guy from, from, uh, from uh, where? I forgot. From Afghanistan. Do you guys remember the story? This guy, he called me. He said, you are a liar and this is not true. I asked many people. There's no such a hadith. And then he said to me, okay, if you show it to me, I will leave Islam. I did. He did not know Arabic. He said, oh, well, I don't know. This is maybe a line. So he took the, the reference. He came back and he denounced Islam. What about a Muslim? He called me right now. And let us see if a Christian prince is saying the truth or not. Anyone? Any Abdul? And you know, the funny is that when you show the Muslim the reference, they say, this is fabricated the story. Okay, well, if it's fabricated, who fabricated the story? That's mean you are a Muslim who fabricates stories. 
It is you if it's fabricated. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Hmm? Hmm. This is how strong Islam is. In theory, Islam is a religion. In theory. In reality, Islam is a joke. Was the Qurayshi calling Muhammad like a date palm tree? Yeah, because they do not know who is his father. That's why they call him like this. Palm tree, you know, they grow by themselves. You do not know who is the father of his tree. Suddenly, a palm tree is growing, you know. You do not know the seed is coming from where. This is what it means, that he was like a palm tree. Hey, forgive me, Rahman. You're just calling me names, and I did not block you, so I'm going to block you now because obviously you have nothing except calling me names. Take, take a hike. Why you don't make a black magic for me, like what happened to your prophet? Somebody takes some hair from his ass, and then your prophet became bewitched. Give me your address. I will give you some hair. Not from my ass. I will give it to you from different location, from my nose. How in the world you Muslim believe that somebody, he can control somebody by some hair? Voodoo? Voodoo, 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 scooby-doo? Why you Muslim don't control all those presidents around the world? Make them convert to Islam. They just take some hair from the barber shop. Go and find where this guy Biden, he take, you know, he, 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 he cut his hair. Do magic, like, you know, shish kebab, hummus, shiku shuku, kuku kuku, and then that's uh, the guy he will say become a Muslim second day. And not only that, you can control him to hit the bomb for nukes, and he attacked the Christians. Use, use your skills. Have you ever heard of a religion that the god of this religion, he sent two angels to open Hori Buter Black Magic School? This is your religion. And the funny, they say to you, a liar. There's nowhere it says that liar. It's in the Quran. It's daif. The Quran is daif. The story is fabricated. The, the Quran is fabricated. And all of us, we knew that those names are Armenian names. If you go and search, you will find that Harut and Marut, they are names exist in the, in the Armenian legions. So Muhammad stupidity went all the way to Armenia. Harut and Marut? Are you sure? What happened to this God? And then Harut and Marut, when they come down to earth, what happened to them? They met with the women, her name is Zahra, which means Venus. Venus. Venus, the story of Venus is in Islam as the following. That when Allah, he sent Harut and Marut, they challenged Allah. They said, well, Adam, he will do mischievement. Allah, he said to them, if I give you the same temptation I give to Adam, you will do the same. They said, no. He said, okay, go choose the best of you. So they choose Harut and Marut. The best of the angels are Harut and Marut, not even Jibreel. When Allah, he sent them down to earth, 
a woman, her name is Venus, she came to them. She have a nice bikini. They could not resist. All of them, they want to have sex with her immediately. So she started asking them to do things like worshiping other God, drinking wine, killing a boy, etc. And then she said to them at the end, I will not let you sleep with me unless you tell me the password to go to heaven. And then, brother, they gave her the password, brother. Allah, he have a radar in the sky. The second he saw Venus come into the sky through the, you know, because she got the password now, Allah, he curse her and he make her a star. Now, I challenge the Muslim to say I'm lying. And this is not a story exists in your books. Mubahala in Islam, somebody is asking what Mubahala in Islam. Mubahala is cursing, cursing party. Two idiot, because Muhammad, he could not refute the Christians. So they came first date for him. They said, let us debate. Muhammad did not respond. Man, we came all the way from Ethiopia. Let us debate. Those are monks. He did not respond. Look, Muhammad, we came all the way here to talk to you. He could not because, you know, he is not a no match. So then what he said, let us invoke curse on the one is lying. Invite your children, I invite my children. Invite your wives, I invite my wives. And let us ask Allah to curse the one is lying. Have you ever heard of a debate like this? Because you have no answer. Cursing party. Until now, we did not have one single Muslim there to call us. As you see, Zakir Naik, he keep looking. He says, just one. Please one. What Muslim call him? Do you see even Zakir Naik, he's putting his finger like one. Please. Can we get one Muslim, just one man, for the sake of the shin of Allah? Have you ever heard of a God? The Muslim, they say Allah is not a man. And then we find that Allah have a shin, Allah have five fingers, he have a foot, he have an ass, he have a face, he have two ears, and he have two hands in the right side. Actually, I find it very funny when Muhammad said that Allah have two hands in the right side. Anyone knows why? And by the way, in different hadith, he says Allah have left hand too. But what you expect, Muhammad, he says stupid things. Why Muhammad he says Allah have two right hands? Because right present right, left present wrong, correct? So Muhammad here is being extreme about his God, describing his God as a defect of birth. But look what happened. As long as Allah he have two right hands, then still he have left. You did not get of the left. You see, if having left, that's mean Allah is bad. The second you say he have right, that mean he have left. <laughs> Guys, are you following with me? If I say to you, the right side, okay, Allah, he have two hands, two mirrors in the right side of the car. Okay, that's mean there is a right side and there's a left side. So what we did nothing, still Allah have a left side of him. So if the right side is the one present that Allah is good and Allah should not have left, but Allah have left because you just said the right, both his hand are right. And you know, it would be funny if I walk with Allah, like, you know, like we going down the street, me and him, like eating some, uh, you know, potato chips and I spank Allah from the left side. I will walk in the left side. You cannot hit back, he don't have his hands both and they're in the right side. God who have hands in the right side, why? What happened? Does Allah have mouth? Sure Allah have a mouth, absolutely. You know when uh, David Wood, he said to Mimi Hijab, uh, your, your Allah have a body part. Mimi Hijab, he answered the question saying, who said so? And because David Wood, as usual, he don't know how to debate, you know, shouldn't you say to him right away, you stupid, your prophet says so, the Quran says so. Let us read together. Ah, let the question go. You know, who said so? It's over. People love and it's over. Who said so? Well, your God, your prophet said so. Your Quran says so. Do we have any brave Muslim? Look, I see, I see some. Uh, 
uh, text in the other side uh, don't use bad language my friend don't force me to block you uh, this guy he is not a Muslim maybe he's an atheist yeah he's saying Bible and Quran both are based on incest who did children's of Adam and Eve Mar Mar uh, 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 and Eve Mary I mean look who is talking about incest an atheist a person who believed that he is a monkey an animal he is talking about incest just to show you how stupid you are to call yourself an atheist an atheist he don't believe in incest you donkey an atheist he believes is an animal so incest is not exist in your dictionary and according to you if we ask you according to your atheism if there's any way will stop you anything will stop you from having sex with your mother you will say no you're an atheist there's a book says don't have sex with your mother there's a book says don't have sex with your daughter or your sister so you are talking about incest you idiot I don't have time for monkeys go and get some get some bananas atheists are the most silly stupid people ever monkeys literally You ask for a caller, I'm happy to talk. Okay, let's see if this guy, only Muslim, please. If you are a Muslim, you can. If you are not a Muslim, then let us see. Hello? You're still live, I, I presume, right? Yes, we are live. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Well... I I don't really have an answer for that to be honest. I was raised one. Okay, so you are a Muslim, but you don't know if you are a Muslim. So what I was what I was saying, not sure. you are a Muslim or not? I'm not sure. Okay, so what I'm sure of is yeah. What when you were talking about the devil, um, um, urinating in people's noses and and mouths and ears and that that stuff used to scare me so much as a child and. To be honest, I was listening to you for years now, and All right. I just had the courage to talk to you today. To be honest. All right. So, is, like, does that mean you like you are confused about Islam because you are listening to me? N I'm not confused. I think it's it's a cult. I okay. So, do. but let me be there. Change the question. Like, did you come to the conclusion Islam is a cult because you listened to me for years? Many reasons. In fact, I'm 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 a woman myself. I am a mother of women. All right. of, of girls as well okay. and I don't think all these things and, 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 and going to heaven to be a sex slave is not something I want for myself or my daughters I you understand know? All right. so, and, and so why you don't say I'm out of Islam I mean why you are confused still I mean if you don't want to be a sex slave as a, no, late, as a female then just denounce Muhammad and say okay Muhammad obviously he is a devilish person he is satanic I have I I've denounced Muhammad long time ago. Oh, okay, that's good. And, yes. Then you should but, not say. You should not say. I'm not sure. You know, when I ask you, you should say, okay, I'm not a Muslim no more. I left. Yeah. All right. But I wanted to ask you about this, the the right hands, because you were discussing the two right hands of God, hmm. and and that also is is this is written in the Quran. Every Muslim believes that God only has right side. And I don't understand. Is he disabled according to to Islam? You see, uh, I, I like for me, I can take it uh, in different measure. I say, okay, you know what? The right side present the right direction. You know, always the word right present right, left mm -hmm. present in a, in the in the manner of religion. The word right present the the right path, the right uh, belief, the right uh, way. You know, and the left is the wrong one. So I can take it this way, no problem. But this is God, you see. But that's not how they say it. They literally say his right hand and his, and his fingers in his right hand and his leg that he puts in hell. And it's just so, in the way they speak about an, an almighty that I'm supposed to love, it, the, the Quran is actually, okay, I have this fear of not calling it the book of God, but at the same time when I read it, I'm thinking, 
it's demeaning God so much. Yeah, well, you know, th this is not a book of God for many reasons, not because right and left. I mean, the whole Quran is, is, is wrong. The whole yes. story is wrong. I mean, from the beginning, from the first page to the last page, I always, I change the Muslims. You call me and tell me any chapter you want, and I will find you tons of mistakes in any chapter you choose. For me, the most the most aggressive thing is is the hate of everybody and the hate of the women who are already Muslims. Yeah, There's like when Muhammad, hate. he said that a woman, she, ad, she advanced in the image of shaitan and she live in the image of shaitan. Why? What she did? A woman, she walked by in the front of his house and Muhammad got horny. He went to his wife. He had sex with her. He forced her into sex, even though she is working. She was tanning leather. So imagine a woman. She is sweating. She is boiling water, putting leather. And now, 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 now he want to have sex. And even Muhammad, he says that the angels will curse the women if her husband, he asked her to come to bed and she refused, even if he asked her to do it in the top of a saddle of a camel. So this man is very sexual, you know, and he he, he abused women. And because what he cared for is the men who want to fight for him. Women, they are followers. They are not leaders at that no. time, at least. So uh, all what he cared for, how he can make them, the, the, the men uh, uh, like what he say. So now I will give you the power over women. You can beat them. You can, you know, you can uh, have many of them. You can insult them. You can torture them. And the Muslim, they, they lie. They say, the prophet says, beat them lightly. But no, we, no. But, but I, we, I, witnessed, I witnessed women in in our culture being beaten, and it is not lightly. I, it is not lightly. I have, I have, I know a person that lost her eyes through a beating, both her eyes. Yeah, I we, actually we have a story from the from the uh, Sahih Hadith that a woman she came to Aisha, and her clothing uh, it was a green, and her skin was a greener than her clothing from beating. Okay. In the time of Muhammad, what Muhammad did, he took the side of the man and he never even questioned the man. Why even you beat her severely like this? He took his side and actually he gave him a verse says, your women are, you are in charge of women. So beat them, you know, uh, uh, like admonish them, jail them in their rooms and beat them. And uh, the, the story in front of us in Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number uh, uh, 42, book number mm -hmm. 77. So the story clearly, Aisha, she said uh, that the woman she was, a lady she came to uh, wearing a green veil and she complained to her, to Aisha, and she showed her beating. She showed her skin caused by beating. And it was saying here, she saw her spot, green spot in her skin. It was a habit. That, look how the Muslim explained how, how the women support each other, supposedly. It was the habit of ladies to support each other. This is not because the man is bad. No, no, no. But this is because ladies support each other. So when Allah Messenger came, Aisha, she said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Can Muslim, they say that Aisha, she is a liar? No. According to this, the most suffering woman is Muslim women. And she continues saying, look, her skin is a greener than her clothes. And then you read the rest of the story, you will see Muhammad taking the side of the man against the women. Always. The thing is that that was a turning point for me is also Aisha is, is guilty in that sense. Um, the rape of Zainab, um, of, of the rabbi's daughter. Um, that was that was a horrific story for me. And they, they tell it as, as if it's a, an accomplishment. You just killed her father and brother and husband. Yeah, you're talking about Safiya. Safiya, yes. Um, and I didn't see any of his wife come to defend her or any of the men. And then this well, happened. You know, he killed all her tribes and then she became his sexist slaves. What she can do with her. And those women, I mean, those women at the end of the day, they knew that this guy is a beast. You know, anyone who go against him, he will end dead. Who, you know, who there? That was literally the turning point for me. And, and these kind of stories that, like the one you were telling when they go to heaven, an endless um, organ. Yeah. Who needs that? I, I, it, it makes no sense in, in a human mind. Who needs that? Why would you want to look like that? Why would you want, why would I want to go to heaven where I don't see my husband for 70 plus years and when he comes back to me, I'm only there for that reason. And then again, 70 plus years, what, what do I do there? What do I exactly do there? No, not 70 actually, you will stay uh, when, a, when a husband, he sleep with his wife, 
you will stay for a couple of thousand of years until your turn come back again because you see when the Muslim they speak about 72 women 72 women each one of them have 72 maid and each maid she have 72 etc so like you know so the number increase like you know like uh, double and double and double and double and 70 times so you will end with thousands of women and the man and then if you calculate even the Muhammad he says that the man in heaven his orgasm will take 70 years just to orgasm alone that will kill him that's physically Physiology. Let us not, you know, who care about killing him, but I mean, but, but you notice here how much sexuality is yes. very focused in this religion because it is a sex cult, you know. This is this is for me, this is why I called you because I needed confirmation that I'm not like in my head, I'm an educated woman, I'm, I'm, I'm in my head, I'm thinking this does not make sense, and I don't want to go to that heaven, but it. I want a heaven to go to because I, I grew up believing. So it. what do you I think do about that. Christianity? As long you know, like now you agree with me that Muhammad is a fraud. What do you think about Jesus then? I have um I don't I've never heard a bad story about him. He he's never sexualized a woman like that. Um, Actually, and Jesus Jesus not only you know Jesus he was out of his time because we are talking about two thousand years ago. You know. How all those yeah. women is looked down at, you know, in every society, especially in the Middle East. So, uh, but Jesus, he did not do that. Actually, only in Christianity, mm -hmm. Christians, they have a unique story about Jesus that he himself, who is our Lord, is born of a woman. Born of a woman. So how yeah. much honor a woman she can have in anywhere, you know. You will not see any Christian can dare to, uh, like, disrespect Mary. But Mary is a woman. At the end of the day, she is a woman. She is not God. She is a woman. So if God himself, he chose to be born of a woman, then what's wrong with the women? And Jesus himself, when he spoke about the women, he forbid the, 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 the Christians, the one who listened to him, that if you want to marry, you marry only one woman. Why you want to have right. two and three and four? And divorce became very hard. Because divorce became a joke for many, and like now, people they get divorced in two seconds. I mean, in Islam is the same. Islam actually was advanced in divorce before any other uh, cult and any other uh, you know religion, uh, pagan religion. Because Islam make divorce just one statement, one word. You know, the guy he said, "You're divorced. That's it. You're done." And, yeah, that's, that's ruined a lot of families. Yeah. Um, I've seen so that Jesus he made that you know very hard. Divorce is very hard. And I, I, if you do a little search in, you know, uh, about that, you will see how difficult for Christians to get divorced uh, if they are following the Bible. If they are not, eh, divorce is so easy. And the second, you are not following. That means you can do anything you want. So in Christianity, even when they ask Jesus about uh, what what the women, what the man will have in heaven, like, you know, this, this woman, she married this guy and that guy and that guy. When she died, who is going to have her? So the Jews, they are thinking about her as an inheritance, you know, even in heaven. So Jesus, he said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. So in heaven, you and me, we will be equal. It doesn't matter if you are male or a female. I will not get reward more than you, and you will not get re reward less than me. Your mm -hmm. gender is not the reason for you how to be rewarded. So uh, uh, with Christ, you know, women is respected. Women have a value. Even, uh, even Jesus, he said, that when the man he get married, he leave his parents, and he become one with his wife, one. So in a Christ, you have a marriage. Your marriage is unity. is not is not a contract of sex like Muslims. Mm. You know. So yeah, that also that also broke my heart knowing that my my contract to my ex husband was not contract of marriage. It was contract of the act. Yeah, there's no marriage in Islam. There's no marriage, right? It was it was aqd and nikah. Yes, I, yes, I, yes. It broke my heart because it yeah, just made me feel like like a prostitute in a sense. Exactly. With a contract. Yeah. Well, um, you know, it's, uh, this is what uh, this religion is. Uh, if we can call it a religion, it is, uh, and, and the reason it is very sexual, uh, mm -hmm. because in Muhammad he is trying to attract the customers who they are men. You know men yeah yeah and uh, uh he want uh he want fighters he don't want uh, disciples like uh, preach peace and love and mercy you know 
Uh, Jesus said, "Love your enemy." You do not. You do not need the criminals. You know, even even his just to understand what kind of companion he have, they accuse even their prophet that he stole an underwear. What? I did not know that. Yeah, like you know, if you go in the Quran, it says, "Linabiyan and Yagul." Yagul means to steal, to be a thief. So right. imagine. Uh, 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 you know, like imagine you have a the, you have the highest person in the world as uh, ethic, you know, ethics. Suppose the Muslim they say that, right? They say that Muhammad is the most uh, noble man in the world. Yes. Yeah. But then we found that the Muslims accusing their prophet that he stole an underwear, and this underwear is stolen. They themselves they stole it. They attacked people they took their, their 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 stuff their furniture their clothing their animals and now they are fighting over the theft so if you go in the quran in chapter uh, 3 verse number 161 it says it is not for any prophet to embezzle who is so embezzles will bring what he embezzles with him in the day of resurrection so that was over an underwear huh this um verse was it over an underwear yeah, the Muslim they say over a piece of a, of a velvet, red velvet. I see. But it's an you know, I mean, it's a it's a piece of clothes, whatever it is, you know, underwear, socks, panty. I don't know, you know, but it's it's a, it's an this clothes, you know. But here you ask yourself. Imagine, John, or Peter, accusing Jesus that he stole socks. No, no. <laughs> It never happened. I've never heard. <laughs> you know, that would be hilarious, yeah. isn't it? But this is telling us the quality. You know, what's more hilarious is that uh, the Almighty would talk about that in in a Quran that we're supposed to be reciting to the end of days. Why would He even interfere in such? No, not only. Little... Just look at look how silly this verse. They are accusing Him that He took the panty. Shouldn't Allah He say who took it? Right. You know, absolutely. Like. Yeah. If you watch, uh, if you watch uh, Detective, what's his name? This guy, funny guy, the short guy, uh, Columbus, Columbus. Like when he's leaving from the door, he say one more, one, one, one more thing, you know. So what is Allah here, Doctor Columbus? I mean, come on, they accuse the Prophet that he stole the underwear. Allah is all knowing. This is what the Muslim they say. He know the unseen. Why Allah did not tell who took the panty? Actually, this verse confirmed that the one who took it is Muhammad. Wow. Because he could but, not tell us his God. Supposedly the one is talking is Allah, not Muhammad. So if Muslim they say, well, Muhammad do not know who took it. He's a human. But the one is talking here is Allah. Shouldn't Allah say, okay, you know what? You accuse my prophet falsely. Go to the end, go to the drawer of this guy to his bedroom, or let this guy take off his pant, and you will see the clothes there. Can't he do that? He could not. Of course. Because simply the one who took it for real is Muhammad, and and, and Columbus is way smarter than Allah. This verse confirm that Muhammad is the thief, not the opposite. And confirm so other, other thing, the quality of the companion, because what kind of companion? I mean, aren't you ashamed to accuse your prophet that he stole it? What kind what kind of gang he have? You know, like you, you watch those movies like a bunch of a drunken pirate, you know, the part of the Caribbean. They have no dignity. They have no ethic. They are pirate. And this is telling us that Muhammad and his companion, they have no dignity and they are just a bunch of pirates. And not only that, actually the Muslims, they agree that Muhammad was a pirate. If you go and search on the internet, you will see how they call it the Ghazwa. How many yes, times Muhammad hit Ghazwa? You will see how what? many. Ghazwa, what they do? They attack the caravan of people in the street and they steal their, 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 their clothes, their, their stuff, their animals, their money. That's right. Yeah. However, Muslims, um, you know, um, admire the Sahaba, the, the companions, sometimes more than the Prophet himself. Like the way they speak about Omar, for example, much more. Um, yeah, you know, Omar he killed uh, he killed Fatima, and he caused her to have uh, this courage, you know, and yet they they, they still worship Omar, the, the Sunni. More than more than Muhammad, yes. Yeah, yeah. But let me ask you, you know, as long you agree with me that Islam is really false, and you agree yes. that Jesus, there's nothing negative about him. What do you think about? Jesus as Lord as Savior for you. If there's a questions for you, I can help you with. For me, I I I don't know what can give me a heaven that I'm pleased with. What because I've been calling God Allah the whole time. 
And for me, Allah, honestly, it means Al-Ilah. But I've been mm. listening to you as well saying that, no, it is the moon God. And I've known, for example, my grandmother was Christian. My grandmother was Catholic, right? Mm. And I heard her say Allah as mm. to, to, to talk about God. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, what am I going to call God now? Um, yeah, let me let me explain to you. You see, your grandmother, she is. I can tell you speak Arabic, correct? Yes, I do. All right. So your grandmother, she's an Arab. They live between the Arab, and they are using the same word the Arab using. But Allah is not our God. We cannot find the word Allah in 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 the Bible anywhere. You can find the word Ilah, the one you mentioned. But Ilah, let me put it in the screen just to show you, so we can understand the language together. If we go, I will make a white screen here. Let us see. All right. Uh, I don't know if you can see my screen now. You can look. Okay. I am. Yeah. So you know the the Aramaic is the origin language of everything Arabic. There is nothing is called Arabic actually. Arabic is not even a language by itself. Even though now look it look like it, but if you go in details, you will find there is no Arabic in the Arabic. But if you if we try to write the word. Uh, Al Al Ilah, Al, yeah. you know, Al in Arabic when we say Al usually it means that, right? That's right. Okay, mm -hmm. and then it is Ilah. Yeah. Okay, and there is a sound, which is H. Yeah. But this is yeah. not really part of the word. It's like a, you know to give a tone. So Il is the word which is used for God in the Aramaic language. And However, in Hebrew, yeah. Any Hebrew, yeah, the origin is Aramaic, even from the Hebrew, even the Hebrew. Remember, Abraham is the father of who? Of the Jews, correct? Absolutely. Yes. And Abraham came from where? From the land uh, of the Aramaic speaking people, correct? That's right. So Arak. it's normal that he is using Aramaic language. So, Il mm -hmm. is the new actually Hebrew, the origin Hebrew or the older, it was Al. So, Israel was not Israel, it was Israel. Al. Al mean God. Al is a word mean God. It's not a name of God. Same as Eve. Mm -hmm. It's not a name of God. It's a word. It can be used even for any God, you know, like Eel, God, God. Like now, in English you say God. A Hindu person, he say the same word God. Uh, uh, a person who worship maybe stars, he called them God. So it's a word. Mm -hmm. Eel, Al is God. This is why we say Baal. You know, Baal, Baal, Al, mm -hmm. you know, he is God. God, uh, 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 this God. Uh, it have nothing to do with us. He is the God of fertility. So, Al is a is a word meaning God, and Allah. If you ask any Muslim, and you used to be a Muslim, and your mm -hmm. family are Muslims, Allah is a name, is not a word meaning God. Do we agree? Yes, and yes, I I agree. But at the same time, whenever I ask that question, even when I was little, um, so how did Al Ilah become Allah? And then they're like, no, 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 it just means the God. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so what's his name then? Because okay. all I have is attributes. Yeah, let me, let me explain to you. You see, Allah is not the same as Al-Ilah. If you go to chapter 2, chapter yeah. 2, sorry, chapter 1, verse number 2. And as long as you speak Arabic, it says, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Correct? Yeah. So what we have, we have Li and we have Lah, not Ilah. Yeah. So the confusion happening because you are mixing between Ila, il, and la. So la. what's la? La is the name of the God. La is the moon God. We can search it right now in Google. So even in the Quran it says, like if I go right now, let me see in in the, in the Muslim website, they have a way, uh, like you know, like you can pronounce in English the, the letters, uh, what they call it. Let us see, translation. I think translation. Yeah, let us see the translation. How it's going to be? All right. Uh, yeah, this is a funny translation. Let us see the other one, number two. Ah, see, this is the Muslims. They are breaking the word from Arabic into uh, Latin letters. So, Alhamdu, Alhamdu, mm -hmm. Li, Li mean two. And then they say, Lahi. Yeah. But you know the, the those tashkil they are added later. There's nothing that's called tashkil in the Quran. Like lahi, this is the tashkil. This is not a letter. So we have to take it only lah. 
So, alhamdulillah, li mean to, what it, to who? To lah, not to ilah. Huh? And alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Okay, he is the, he is the, he is the, uh, the Lord of, uh, Rabb is an, is an Aramaic word too. Even the Hebrew use it too, which means like rabbi, master, you know, rabbi. Yeah. Uh, so, alhamdulillah, and thanks to lah, the Lord or the master of the two world. Okay. Who is lah? It's not Allah now, you see. The word in the top, it says, bism li lah. Do you see it? This is the Muslim trying to teach you how to pronounce it. But for you, you speak Arabic, you do not need it. But just for people to see. So uh, uh, in, in the first one in Arabic, it says here, Bismillah, and the, uh, Allah is written differently. There's Alif, there's letter A in the beginning. Here, the letter is gone. There's no letter in the second one. If we zoom, you will see there's different between them. There's one letter missing in the beginning. Do the people that wrote this, do they know this? Like no, the no, you, see, you see the the Quran obviously never was in Arabic. Quran is not an yeah. Arabic book. There is somebody he made this book trying to make it as it is today, but the original Quran cannot be in Arabic. And there is many many proof of that, you know. Uh, but this is more complicated. Actually, I will I will I will speak about that in my coming book. Uh, okay. which is going to be very very good for many people to to earn a lot of information about uh, how how uh, islam is born and born of what uh, but if we focus here with us you are focusing in the name of god right yeah but the name for me is not important you see when god he, uh, when musa he asked god in the bible he says to him what i will call you what i will tell my 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 people you know okay you are god you are my creator uh so what I will tell you, what I will tell them, you know. So he said to him, I am who I am. God did not give him give a name. And even though the Bible used it as a name, like in a Christian, they say to you, well, this word is a name, the name of God. This is how a God he presents himself to. Uh, if you go to Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. So I am who I am. But uh, uh, because people read in the, in the in the foreign language, which is the Hebrew, they think it's really a name, but this is not really a name. God is telling us that he is the one who is exist without anyone to make him exist. I am the one who exists by myself. So I am who I am, but we don't follow a name. We follow God. We don't follow a name because anyone can claim the name. And that's mean he is God. Like now, when we say uh, we believe in Jesus, right? But if you go to uh, Mexico, you will find people, they call themselves Jesus. Right? Yeah, that's it's right. a popular name. Yes. So, does that mean we worship them? No, we don't follow the name. We follow the person, the name. We don't follow. And the name of the Messiah, the the, the real name is Yeshua. But we don't care really for the name as much we care for the person. The name is how he identify between the people he was with. But mm -hmm. the one we follow is the Messiah who did all those things, who came in the time of those disciples not the name because the lord he says to us many many false teachers will come be aware you know of false teachers they will come to you in the clothes of a sheep but they're wolves so they can take the name and there is many actually came after the messiah and they claim to be the messiah many maybe hundreds maybe not maybe thousands we do not know how many so until now like even now i think there's somebody he claimed that he is the messiah so uh, there is ahmad mirza Ghulam. he claimed to be the messiah yeah. correct so yes. we do not need to, to focus in the name as much mm -hmm. we focus in the person. So let us say the Muslim, they change the name of their God and they call him Yahweh or Yahweh. But that will not make their God our God. It's not the name. Imagine uh, like you have a, a, you know, a car made in France, a Bijou, and then you mm -hmm. put Mercedes Benz on your car, but it doesn't make your car Mercedes, correct? No, it does not. Yeah. It's the so uh, uh, Muslims, they stole many names. <coughs> sorry, my voice. <coughs> so the Muslim, they stole many voice, many sorry, many many names, and he, they put them in their book. But still, their religion is not ours, and their God is not ours. Even though they say we believe in Mary, he will go. They have Mary. We have Mary too. But yeah. obviously, it's not the same Mary. 
in the Quran, Mary, she is the daughter of Amran. Who is Amran? It's not. <laughs> she is the sister of Aaron, and she is the sister of Moses. And, uh, you know, I mean, there's it's a messed up. And, uh, you know, the God of the Bible from the beginning, if you go from the beginning of the Bible, you see God in his spirit. So from the first verses in the Bible, it says that God, he have a spirit. The Muslims, they deny that God is a spirit. But the Jews and the Christians, they agree that, yes, God is a spirit. So uh, we, what we care for is not the name. However, I reject to use the name because the name of the God of Islam is proven to be the moon God. Even though the Quran says, don't worship the moon. But the moon is God is not worshiping the moon. It's the moon God, not the moon. You know what I mean? So wow. if I say the God of the earth does not mean we worship the earth. That's right. It's like it's like Greek mythology, a god yeah. of something. So if and I it's... say the, 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 the God of uh, uh, the God of sex doesn't mean we worship sex. He's God of sex. You know, mm -hmm. he's God of sex. So he is the one in control of something. So the God, this God, the Muslim, they worship. They stole the name from ancient language. And if we search it, we will find in two seconds that La is the moon God. And not only that. You know that a Muslim they go to the Kaaba, correct? That's right, yeah. And in I the hated Kaaba, that yeah, and ever since I was a kid. I don't know why. You I went, never you, liked... did, did you go to the Kaaba yourself? Yeah, they okay. took they took me. Um, I was a kid. I hated it. I hated the crowdedness. I hated the noise. I hated the um, aimless running of grown-ups <laughs> that means nothing. Yeah. And and how I, dirty it is. If you look at yes. the pictures in Mecca, you will see how dirty the city. You know, I never belonged. I very savage, I very belonged. savage. Yeah, but I, I want to talk about here something important. Okay. You know, the, in in the Kaaba there is something called a Ruknul Yamani. The yes. Yemeni, the Yemeni corner. Let us put it in the yes. screen so people they can see it. If you ask the Muslims what the Yemeni corner, Yemeni means the corner of Yemen. Okay. That's right. Why it's called your corner of Yemen? Uh, the Muslim they start giving you ideas like uh, maybe it's facing you on. But in fact, the reason for this corner to be called a Ruknul Yemani, because simply those stones who look different, they are taken from the temple of Al Makkah from Yemen. Al Makkah is the same name of Mecca. In the language of Yemen, the Ka is pronounced as Qa. So That's the right. temple of Al Makkah is not really in Mecca. That Mecca, the name now, is a copy of the real temple, which is in Yemen. And the city still exists, Bakka. It exists exactly. The temple is still there. I mean, there is not not only of it, but uh, it's a very famous temple. And not only that, for centuries, uh -huh. the scholars or the 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 the, uh, the, the scholars who do history and uh, dig in the ground, and they thought that this temple was for the sun god. And lately, they have to come to the conclusion because they were able to read the the text they were they found, the tablets they found, confirming. That this is was the temple of the La, the moon god, La. So they brought those stones from that temple, and they copy and they call Mecca, Mecca as a copy of that temple. So people will not go and do Hajj all the way to Yemen. Come here, touch the stones. We have the stones here. Those are stones coming from the temple of Al Mecca. Yes, I was. I was always angry at stones. I I never liked the idea. Of stone touching, yeah. Now, uh, Muhammad he said that uh, uh, the black stone and the Yemeni corner, whoever touched them, it erased his sin. That's yes. why you see those poor people; they are coming from around the world. You will see a person coming from Indonesia. I mean, how much money Indonesian farmer he make? You know, too much money wasted, and and yeah, a lot of women he spent all his life saving to do what? To make the Saudi rich. Absolutely. Because and he spent all, the all his money, it. the airline, they, they will it. make money, you know, yeah. and Saudi Arabia will take a percentage from it. They will spend money for hotel, they will spend money for food, they will buy gifts for their family, you know, like, you know, you know, like when the Hajji is coming back, you have to bring, you know, gift for everybody from, you know, and the water of Zamzam and Miswak. And, oh my God, uh, you know. that's as well. It made me sick when I was a child. Oh my God. And they, they, they keep pushing it in your mouth as if it's the cure for everything. And I, yeah. I got sick. Actually, according to the BBC, they found that the the Zamzam have arsenic poison in it. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that because yeah. I, I want but to but let us focus me and you. You see, 
Uh, as you see, this is a very clear pagan cult. The name there, I'm not against the name, by the way. What if the Muslim, they change the name and they make it Jesus? Still, Islam is false. You know what I mean? Sure. I'm not sure. I'm not against Islam because of a name. What if the name of their God is Yahweh? Still, Islam is false. You see, as an example, we have uh, people, they call themselves uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. I don't know mm -hmm. if you heard of them. Yeah, they okay. visit some Jehovah's Witnesses, they agree with the name of Yeshua, they agree with the name of God, they agree, etc. But for us, they are no Christian. They are not. They have the same name, you see. Now, now we have an example. People have the same exact name. What about the Mormon? The Mormon, they have the same exact name for God too. So, But still, they are no Christian. So for us, we don't care for the name because any cult can use the name of the true God to make you deceived. So, but in Islam, the name is not the same. The value is not the same. The ethic is not the same. The nature of God is not the same. Our God is a spirit. Their God is not. Our God can be a man, and he came as a man. Even the Bible says God created Adam in his image. The Muslim, they reject that. Islam teach that God, if you don't commit sin, he will destroy you. Our God teach if you commit sin, he will be destroyed. Islam says you can, you know, you can lie to your wife. You can lie to your husband. You can lie to, in three cases in, in Christianity, Jesus says, either you say yay, yay, or nay, nay. You are not even allowed to take an oath. In Islam, you can take a false oath. You can lie, take a false oath using the name of God in vain. 100%, so, yes. so Islam is a proven to be satanic. And with the Christ, you are with God. So how, how we recognize God as a Christ? We don't recognize because Jesus will come and he say, I'm Jesus. Satan can do that. But we will recognize Jesus because he will do what Jesus does. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And what Jesus does is what nobody can do. He is the best in ethic, in love, in mercy, in everything. And he can do a miracle nobody can do. And he don't ask for himself. He don't ask for a privilege. You see, Jesus, I, it's not a secret. All the Christians since the time of Jesus, they worship him, correct? That's right. And if you are a person who's been worshipped literally, can you imagine how much you can control your followers? Can you imagine Jesus who can raise people from death? How many kings they would love to give all their money and to bring them back to life? Yeah. How much Jesus money can have? How much power he can have from such a power he have? If I am the person now, I can make blind people see how much money I will earn a day. Yeah, I don't think he was after that though. I will find hundreds of thousands every day in front of my house because I just touch their eyes and they can see. So Jesus have a power nobody can have yet. I don't know if you know the story. Jesus, he ordered his disciples. If you don't let me wash your feet, you don't mm -hmm. belong to me. So this I is see. the person who we worship. What he is doing, he said to us, the master is the servant, the one who want to be a master he should be a servant first. So because he have an extreme love, we worship him. He is the son of God. He is God in earth. Yet he wore, you know, he wash our feet. And this is how you know who is Jesus. It's not by the name. This is why Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And I want you to use this in everything in your life. Anything with your friends, with your family, with the business. You want to know a person? It's not by what he say. Is not by what he claimed, not how he dress, not how rich, not how poor. You will know them by their fruits. Absolutely. And that is God, my friend. God is fruits. And the fruit of Jesus is so clear. So when I say to you, I invite you to accept Jesus as your savior, I'm asking you not only to accept his the person as a name, I'm asking you to accept the person as a fruit. The true God, you have a true fruit. And how we I know him? I've always, I believe I've always believed in the true God, the God of Abraham, Moses, Jacob. Then you have to believe in Jesus. They asked Jesus, you know, when Jesus, he said, they said to him, uh, uh, he, uh, you know, like he said to them, before Abraham, I am. The Jews, they looked at him and says, but you are not even 50 years old. And you claim yet that you are before Abraham? He said, truly, truly, I say to them, before Abraham I am, and Abraham he saw my day and he rejoiced. So 
He is the God of Abraham. He is the God of all mankind. He is the God who created us, and this is why he came to save us. You see, the Quran says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْإِنسَ وَالْجُنْ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا The reason I created a human being, a human and genie, just to worship. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not, and he don't want worshippers. He want God, our Lord. He want children. He don't want us to be slaves. Like when you call me, you said to me, I hate to be slaves, right? And you hate to be a sex slave. With, I don't want to be that. With Jesus, you are no slave. The Bible says, in you know, with, uh, 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 talking about Christianity, that there is no Greek, there is no Hebrew, there is no free, there is no slaves, for all is one in Jesus. So in Christ, we are free. We don't look at person, he is a slave as a slave, he is my brother in Christ. We don't look at the person he is black that he is black or he is white or he is an Asian. He or she they are my brother in Christ. So Jesus he free you and he level you not only as a human he made you a child of God. So you need to choose ask yourself which one I we should follow. There is many religions. Mm -hmm. There is one only. He consider you a child of God. You see I call myself a Christian prince, but I'm not a I'm not a son of a king. But I'm a child of God. Every one of us is a prince and princess. God, He level you up. He call you child, my child. When we we pray, do you know what we say? But do you have an idea what, what a Christian when they say when they pray? No, not really. They say our Father. Our Father, not our God. Why? Do you see how? How warm the relationship between us and our Creator when we pray yeah. we are not like you know God he can say you have to bow down you have it it's a, I will destroy you God, please God you know look how loving he is you know you pray to me you say our father it's like you know a very peaceful conversation between children and their father they don't need fear to love him the God of Islam is based on fear Fear and reward. Right. The God of Christianity, the, the, the fear is only you decide to leave him. This is your, you choose it, not me. It's not my choice. So you pray to me, you talk to me, say to me, our Father, we thank you. We thank what you gave us. We thank you for the bread. Forgive to us as the same as we forgive to others. And even when you pray, speaking to the Father, calling him Father, you think about forgiving others before you ask the father to forgive you so our father here he doing the opposite of what the god of muhammadan they do the god of muhammadan he wants you to seek revenge the quran says yes so they will the, 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 go and kill them and torture them that will heal your chest with jesus forgive them forgive them like forgive us father the same as we forgive to others actually so, that that saying of of jesus where um love thy enemy or turn the other cheek in fact muslims see it as extreme weakness exactly you see this is uh, the fact it's an extreme extreme power strength, exactly. and strength yeah. because it's easy for me i have you know everybody knows i am i like weapon you know i i have a hobby uh uh i i can i can be driven by my anger and then start shooting people but this is me this is mean i'm weak not strong that's a right. wise man, the wise man, the wise woman, is the one who control themselves, and mm -hmm. don't let the devil drive them. So the the wise man is the one who fight evil as much as he can by wisdom. So when I say to somebody, "Oh, you know, he insulted me," okay, God bless you. Sometimes me myself, I, you know, like I have a difficulty to do that. Why? Because my anger. My anger. Is taken mm -hmm. over and then I will not be really practicing as Jesus said so uh, uh, if you say to a person he's coming he is angry he want to fight you bless you my friend okay good no problem uh, you know the effort to you etc you are a coward okay my friend bless you the guy himself he will be ashamed you know what I mean you did not yeah. feed you did not feed his evil yeah if you answer back oh you etc and then you will, you will find yourself feeding the evil you know, here when I debate Muslims, they make me angry. They provoke me. I do refute them using their logic. I, I will speak rude to them, but not because I like to be rude, but I use their logic to show them how stupid they are. 
But the thing is with, with, with the people that argue with you, because I've heard a few of the arguments, because this is what we were taught, a s simple words that we've memorized, there is no other, there is no logic. They hear a person like Bedat, um, Zakir Naik, whatever, whatever they teach us at schools. These, uh, this is the how you dispute them. This is what you say. They memorized it. So when you come up with something they didn't come across, they become angry, which actually one of the reasons why many like me left in a sense is because there's nothing, there's no logic. It's, it's repeated and repeated, repeated again and again. I've been hearing the same arguments since I was five. Yeah. It, there's so nothing so what, do you, what do you think about, like, you know, uh, if there is something like preventing you from accepting Jesus as your savior, I'm really interested tonight Honestly, that before I, you leave, I, that you accept Jesus. I will do my best to help you if I can. I, what I need is a prayer because honestly, as, as I said earlier, I have children and my, it's, it's my, very... my, my sister, we will pray for you from all our heart. And the Bible says a happiness will be in the kingdom of God for a one person he was saved. So what about you and your children? How many children you have? I have two. You have two children. We pray that the Lord that he will keep you healthy, taking care of them, growing in, in the front of your eyes. We pray to the Lord to open your heart, to come to him, to believe in him, to save yourself and to save your children, to be in his kingdom. So when his kingdom come, you will be there. We pray to the Lord that right now you accept Jesus and right now you open your heart. And if you have any question for me, don't be shy. I'm here to serve you. I'm here to wash your feet. The same as Jesus, he washed our feet. Not because we are slaves, not because we are hypocrite, but because we are real. Servant is who is a Christ is, yet he is God. And if my Lord was a servant, who am I? So my sister, I ask you to accept Jesus. For today you might go to sleep and you don't wake up. Or tomorrow might come and you are not there. I know what you're asking me, and I'm I'm so grateful and honored with all the love that you showed me and all your followers as well. I just I, for now I need prayers because um this is the thing that you always talk about the terrorism of 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 Muslims, right? Yeah. Um, and my children have a Muslim father, and I. My sister, don't worry about the, the, the what the people can do. There is God. There is there is there is a protector. He knew who you are. He knew your name. He knew where you live. He will be with you. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Do you know how many people hate me? Oh my God, millions! <laughs> but millions. Do you love think I'm really worried? Do you think when I walk in the street, I look behind me? I don't. I don't. You know. So I I, I do appreciate that, but also I appreciate that. No one knows what um, it feels like to be a woman in the Islamic community. I understand, I understand. But which one is more important for you? Worrying about people or worrying about your salvation and your children's? Yes, this is why I, I, I whatever I believe, I, I will keep to myself. Because... All right. So you, you are saying you will not say, you prefer not to say in public? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I understand. So I understand you, who you, what you believe now. <laughs> well, we are happy for you. I'm really happy. You know, I, I'm not going to say what happened now. People knows, but you see, it, 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 I want you to have faith. Faith is power, a superpower. I am weak only when my faith is weak. I am not weak because, uh, uh, you know, like a, a person he might be. Uh, you might be short, you might be tall, you might be strong by muscles, you might have, uh, uh, you, you play uh, martial art, but this is not what makes you strong or weak. Mm -hmm. Faith is the secret of being strong. Yeah. When, a, when, a, when little ant, little ant, she keep going and backward, forward, backward, forward, you ask yourself what she is carrying. I mean, come on, this is really annoying. Don't she get tired? But the end, she go to work every day, doing yeah. what she should do. That's how if, I feel every day. If and an ant, if an ant, she is more successful to build a colony. Don't you think you can build a colony of your own? You will be the queen of your own, and your children they will live like princes or prince. Prince. I really hope so because I cannot see them marrying these people. 
You I can, you can, especially if you live abroad, you don't live in a Muslim country. So yeah. you, you can you can earn your freedom. You know, in the West, it's very easy. If a, if a man, he threatens you, you can call the police in two seconds, they will be there. Yeah. You know, so don't worry about anyone. Don't worry about anyone. And we will put you in our prayer. And uh, I will ask everyone here, uh, you know, I cannot say, I don't even look at your name. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, but we ask our 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 uh, our, our fr friends here, our family, sisters, brothers, to pray to our sister here. She have two beautiful children. She, you know, uh, she need your prayer. I cannot say more. And you can tell already what she believe in. So, sister, I'm really happy to have you today. If there's anything so I can answer you. I think you've done um, a lot, and um, I hope I can call you another time. With, anytime, with... anytime. And if you have any of your family, uh, sisters, brothers, they like to like you know uh, to join and have a conversation with me. Maybe we can help them to leave Islam too. I will be uh, so happy to serve them humbly and to help them. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm the only one. All right. Well, you never know. You know, you see. The, the the one uh, you know like a seed of wheat will ma will make the field full right so don't they don't think you are only one i was i was uh, you know when i started doing this my english is funny and then now it's not really that good and uh, I, you know I, like if you if you ask yourself i mean how in the world this guy even is going to reach out to millions it this doesn't make sense right and then mm -hmm. uh, then you know then you will find yourself because you have faith yeah. Because you are strong, because you have faith, the faith is your strength. Because you have faith that you know what, maybe I don't speak good English, maybe I'm a foreigner, maybe I'm a stranger, maybe I am an immigrant, maybe people will make fun of me. But who care? If I save one person, bring him to Christ, I'm victorious. So That's this nice is what makes me successful. Is not, is not about me being strong. It's about me being faithful. And if I can save one person, bring him to Christ. How beautiful is that? Actually, when I first discovered you, I was at college and I was with, with an Arab friend, a, la a lady, in fact. And I was listening to you and it was a very funny conversation that you were having with a fellow Arab. And, and she said to me, don't listen to this guy. Don't listen to this guy. He, he will set you astray. <laughs> he, will, he will lead you astray. Don't, don't open the door for this. You remind, me of, uh, you remind me of Quran chapter 5 verse 101 and verse 102. It says, ask not questions. And it says verse 102, because for a generation asked the same question and they left the faith. <laughs> right. From that pushing, I wasn't going to listen to the whole thing. I was literally just having a break. But because of all this pushing, I was like, you know what? I, I need to hear this. And that was a few years ago. Um, so do you do you listen to me like almost every day, like when I go live? Um, I'm I'm extremely busy, but when when I do, I actually do listen to the whole thing. And sometimes I fall asleep listening to you. To be honest, yeah. I fall I, I fall asleep listening to myself too. <laughs> <laughs> is is that is is that okay? You fall asleep when you listen to me. Is that because I'm boring or what? <laughs> no, it's because I'm tired and I don't want to listen to anything else. I don't yeah, want to watch no, the movie or anything. You see, I I always joke about myself. Because I am confident and I have faith. So like yeah. some people, they will be offended if you, you know, you know but for me, nothing will offend me really because I know who I am I, and actually, I know what I stand for. Please don't be because for me to fall asleep in, in the scenario that I'm, I'm living in, it's very hard. So for me to fall asleep, that means I'm feeling peace. It wasn't. That's exactly, the opposite. Yeah, that's good. You see, like always, uh, you know, uh, there is, there is, uh, if you watch a horror movie, you will not be able to sleep all night, even though you want to sleep, you are tired. But if you have something peaceful and some, and you know, always our program is fun, is, uh, you know, full of joy. And uh, in the same time, we teach people how to use their brain, how to think, you know, like how to refute, how to answer, how to use the silly, uh, the, the silly smart logic, because the silly one always think that he is smart. But the second we answer him, he turned to be so silly. Uh, so here people, they enjoy it more because we have a special kind of conversation and normal. And I'm very, very uh, like, uh, let us say, I don't sugarcoat. Like many, uh, there is many, they, they have to speak in certain language. 
and I for me I don't say I okay, they I say it as it is I don't care who like it or don't like it I, I think by now you know I know yeah That's and, what I and this is why this is why you know people they enjoy because this is a truthful conversation not uh, like a uh, fake you know like in TV you know here is here we have a real thing real talk it's exactly real um, I don't know you you don't know me I literally just created the Skype right now just to talk to you I felt the need to talk to you and yeah there's definitely no fakeness here thank you very much for being here well anytime you would like to call feel free if you like to share with us and if you invite if you can bring friends or anyone have a question about Islam so we can help them to live Islam, I will be happy to have them. Thank you so much and thank you for your followers for all the nice prayers. Thank right. you. Thank you very much. God bless. Take care. Bye. All right. So please don't forget to pray to our sister here and to her family. Uh, you know, that the Lord, he will, uh, will warp them with his mercy and love, will protect her children. Uh, you know, and uh, you know to 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 keep her in in the right place, because the devil always is there. We have you know we believe in in in, in devil, right? A devil is exist. You know we believe he exists, but the, the devil always have a place if we let him have a place. If we have vacancies in our chairs, so if you allow the devil to have a, to have a place in your house, then the devil will be there not without your permission so we pray that this lady she will be able always to stand against the devil and she will overcome her weakness because I can feel like she she feel a weakness and you know this is very normal you know Middle Eastern women they are under a lot of stress uh, they are treated differently they always put them down they treat them as not only as like second citizen or third. They are they treat them as no citizen. She is just a like a, an, an object to use and abuse. So her weakness is coming from long abuse, let us say, long lifetime abuse. But I say to our sister here, you know, walk with Jesus, and Jesus will give you strength. And by His name, we pray that nobody will be able to abuse you ever again, and you will be victorious. Do we have any Muslim here would like to call us? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us?